Hey ladies, it's Krista and I am here with a video showing you around Linktree. So Linktree is a great tool that you can use. It's an effective link in bio tool. And what we mean by that is over on Instagram, when someone comes to our profile, really the only thing that shows up really clearly is one main link. And for me, that's activateherawesome.com forward slash links. And I have an, my own custom page on my website that I built for this. But if you don't have that kind of technical ability yet, you can use a, a tool like Linktree in order to send people to different places, okay? So what I'm gonna do is in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add your links. So. The first thing that I'm gonna assume that you've done is you've signed up for either a free, which is what I have here, or paid account on Linktree, and you've customized the colors and you made it look like you want it to look, okay? Mine is pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna show you the preview of it by clicking the preview button in the middle at the bottom. I just have it as a white background. It's got a photo here, it's got my username, and it's got two links, but it's really needing a little bit of work. So first thing that I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna tap on the picture and I am going to change out my profile. So I actually want to upload my own image here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on upload your own image and then all I have to do is press in this box at the top to select a file and I can go into my photo library and choose the photo. Okay, and then all I have to do once I've got my photo selected is click done. And I'm not gonna crop it, but if I wanted to crop it, I could use the corners to um, change the crop. And then all I have to do is hit crop and then upload. And then my photo has been changed. If I want to change any of these links, all I have to do is click add link, add social icon, and follow the steps. But really what we wanna focus on, let's go back to looking at preview here. So now I've got the right photo here, but I don't have very many links, so let's add some. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the edit button, and I'm gonna close this window, and I am going to actually open up my podcast website. So howcanthisbeeasy.com, and I am just gonna grab the URL that's in the top. So this is what you're going to do for anything that you wanna to link to. You wanna to navigate to the page online, and then you just wanna select everything that is up here, and you're gonna hit copy. And then all I'm gonna do is open up that tab again, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click Add. This is where you paste your link in here, and then you're going to click Link, and then what we need to do is we actually need to probably edit the title and we want to add an image. So to add an image, what we're going to do, it's going to be the one that shows up at the very top, first of all. And to change your image that shows up here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the little image button. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see it is the third one over and it looks like this. And I'm going to hit change and then I'm going to upload my own and I'm gonna select it again by just tapping in that area, coming into my photo library and choosing the photo that I want, click done, and then I can actually come in and crop that if I want to, and then I'm going to click crop and then upload. Okay, so that has been done, we're happy with this. Uh, if I want to change what it says. I'm going to, in that first line, I am going to change it here. So actually first, let me show you what this looks like. Let's just click done and then here and preview. So how can this be easy podcast with Krista Smith? Maybe I want to say, listen to my podcast. Okay. So I'm going to click edit and what I need to do is change the top line. So there's a little pencil. You can kind of zoom in if you need to with your fingers. I'm going to hit that. And then all I'm gonna do is delete all of this and put tune into the podcast. And maybe put headphones or microphone. Let's do microphone. Okay, so we could use this one, tune into the podcast and then click done. All right. 
And now let's say we want to, so we can do this for all of them. So you can add as many links, set the photo, um, do that. Now let's say this one here, the third one down is off. So it's off because can you see that button? It's like grayed out. If I did, actually I can't even turn it on. It won't allow me to even turn it on. Let's try to delete this one. I'm gonna hit the delete key, which is right under to the right, like the furthest button over on the right. There we go, I can delete it. So let's just go ahead and hit delete forever because I don't even know what that thing is doing. All right, now let's preview and see what we think. Tune into the podcast, Instagram mini course, see how we can work together. Okay, so that one I wanna change. So I'm gonna go back into edit. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this and start over. So I'm gonna hit the delete key in the bottom. Now, if you did wanna just kind of take this down, um, and not delete it, what you could do is you could just turn it off. And then if I go back to preview, you can see I only have the two. So that's really handy to do. Um, but in this case, I actually think I want to just delete this and start over. So I'm going to hit the delete key, scroll down and just hit delete forever. I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to get into my website here. And I'm actually going to get to my membership, which... I think I have to do it this way. There we go. Okay, I wanna add my membership. So again, I'm just gonna to navigate to the URL. I'm gonna select everything that's up there and I'm gonna hit copy. And then, or the other thing that I could do is I could hit share and then I could hit copy. So that's another way to get the URL. So just come back to the web page, come in here, hit the share button in the middle and then hit copy and that's gonna save that. And then, oops, and then I just need to go back to this other tab. I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna do a link, paste in my link. So just kind of put my finger down and then hit the paste. I'm gonna click done here, tap on that. Okay, so, and instead of this one, I am going to say, I'm gonna delete everything that's up here. I think I'll just do join my membership. And then all I have to do is add a photo. So I'm just gonna hit that little um, thumbnail button. Um, it's pulling one from my website. I don't want this one, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to upload my own. Again, just tap, go into the photo library. And I think for this one, I'm actually just going to go into my photos and pick one. Okay, and it's already um, found a crop for me, and I like it. So I'm just going to apply this and hit crop, and then click upload. And now let's preview and see what we think. Join my membership, tune in. There, looks great. Yep, perfect. So that's it, ladies. That is how you can customize your link tree. You can add as many links as you want. Um, make it really clear to people what each are for. That's what I could say. And remember, if you ever want to change like how they're stacked, all you have to do is on the left-hand side, like grab it with your finger and then you can just move them all around. And then if you come back to preview, now that one's gonna be on the bottom. All right, let me know if you have any follow-up questions about Linktree. Uh, it's a great tool that you could use in order to um, let your audience find all the important links that you wanna share with them uh, really easily. All right, cheers.